Hello and welcome on another episode of Conversation on Artificial Intelligence. Tonight, I want to give you a summary of a very interesting interview that we had with Piyush Chandra. Piyush Chandra is a product leader with several years of experience in products and solutions in specialized in uh, natural language processing and most recently chatbots, the famous chatbots. So, if you are new to the channel, it is an honor and privilege to have you here. If you're coming back, thank you so much to put your trust on us. So, the first thing we're going to do is let's talk for a moment about the chatbots and uh, what they are. Basically, these are ways to interact with computers and also more broadly other systems. It, you know, it could be your ATM machine, it could be maybe one day another type of service uh, that you find at McDonald's, whereby you interact with a chat. But the point is that the person you're talking to a chat is not actually a person, but it is a computer software that is able to, you know, kind of, kind of understanding and responding to you. Now, why they're important? Why we're talking about this? They're, they're very important because there are a number of applications that either already in the market for consumers, such as you know bots that make you reserving something, a, a ticket from Facebook or from um, WhatsApp or vice versa, um, some intelligent marketing application on, on Facebook, but not but many and many more are coming, especially in the B2B realm, so in, in industrial applications, as well as uh, in, in the consumer world. So that's why they're important. They're important and they will change the way that we interact with computers altogether. So that's the reason why these chatbots are interesting. The third reason, if you're really interested, is because a lot of entrepreneurs are really looking into this sector and lots of people believe there's going to be lots of uh, pretty large profits to go uh, after. Now, having understood that, let's come to, you know, taking a look at the few points that we discussed in the interview. I think the first thing that I want to highlight is, has to do with this guy. You remember Google? You remember that I did several videos in which I was trying to talk to Google Home and I was always unsatisfied. So we discussed that basically, point number one, what is the difference, the main difference between Object like this, or you know, chats that are designed to interact with somebody like me or you, so the consumer, or chats that are designed to assist the person while he's doing a job at the workplace. So those are called B2B applications. So Piyush viewpoint is that the two applications are fundamentally different. For consumers, the intelligence is designed for basically taking care of the most number of people, but it doesn't have to be perfect every single minute. And that's one of the reasons why people like me sometimes get frustrated uh, when interacting with these bots. For B2B applications, the intelligence is that is designed for being precise and dependable for a specific function. Now, because of those constraints in, 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 in design, there are also some drawbacks or advantages on the two. So typically, because the application is really designed to solve a specific problem, so for example, let's say uh, book a ticket for, for, a, for a cinema, or um, let's say assist a chemical engineer or a chemical worker in, in a chemical manufacturer to debug a problem, because they're so narrow focused in the industry, usually they tend to work better because the user is basically expecting to have a very narrow use of this type of technology. Whereas in the consumer world, the consumer it doesn't expect to have a narrow use of the technology. So for example, the consumer could say, I bought a ticket for a theater tonight, but now I want to get refunded. And given that I'm on my mobile and I am just 10 meters, 10 meters away from a McDonald's, please order a, 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 a sandwich for me. Now, for the user, this is a totally natural way of interacting with, with, with his or her surroundings, but the machine was actually not designed for this. And so there is kind of a different level of user satisfaction for B2B and B2C applications. By the same coin, 
there is also kind of a difference between the chatbots designed for the consumers, again, you and me, or the chatbot designed for workers in, in a specific uh, industry function. And it's basically that because consumers always came up with new needs, came up with so so for so kind of uh, you know deriving from what it, what the bot was designed for, then it's possible to study the consumer behavior and over time innovate and add more functions to this particular bot. Whereas in the industry, it becomes a little bit more challenging to add more functions, discover new new use cases, and 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 therefore make them if you like more broader in, in, in intelligence. So that's a part of the conversation. This is very, very two, uh, two interesting points. So given that Piyush is a product manager, we also talked about a number of other business, more business related topics that you can find out in the interview. One last thing I wanted to instead uh, cover in this summer is, in this summary is that uh, we discussed how chatbots are going to disrupt the work environment. You see the big fear that is generating from AI is that lots of jobs would be disrupted. Particularly in this case, uh, this is one of the cases where, you know, all the people that work in call centers, being them, you know, sales or outbound call centers or inbound call centers, they usually are support type of function. See, there is an expectation that the total number of jobs is going to decrease and compress, and therefore we're going to assist uh, a situation where jobs are going to be killed, basically. So, Piyush's uh, viewpoint was very, very interesting, in my view. So, first of all, he cited a couple of facts. Fact number one, he said there is a study from a British university that shows that in the last century, while it is true that technology made some jobs obsolete, the overall number of jobs that were created because of the technology advancement was much higher than the job that were created. And the overall number of jobs just increased over time. So he made the point that in his opinion, this, is, this new technology is not different than any other technology from the past. That's a, that's a good point, some people don't think that way. But the other thing it was a really a kind of interesting and also, if you like, um, funny is that he said that when computers were first introduced in India, the government wanted to bring the computers in the banks. But the bank workers uh, went on strike because they thought that their jobs would be, you know, uh, would be obsolete uh, very quickly after the computers were introduced. And he says, many decades after, now anything that has to do with the software industry and computers are very important driving factors of the Indian GDP at this point uh, in time. So there was a very interesting uh, example uh, alongside with the other examples. And he also expanded on his vision on how, you know, like machines are, are, are going to augment some of the cognitive functions that we as a human being um, execute every day. And what is the pros and cons of that? And that's and it was a very interesting conversation that we had towards the end of the interview. So if you're interested to uh, you know learn more about what Piyush is doing and and you know like uh, and learn from his experience, you can uh, subscribe on our channel. And as soon as the interview is ready, you can uh, you know you can get notifications and you can watch it. For the time being, I want to thank you for coming back or for coming here for the first time. And I look forward to seeing you again with new and more content on conversational artificial intelligence. Thank you. Bye-bye.